various versions of medical and recreational marijuana are now legalized in all but seven states. And that's led to much more research into the health effects. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez reports on new studies showing surprising heart effects in young users. For decades, it was thought that marijuana use could not lead to a physiologic dependence on cannabis, the active ingredient in the plant. But today's marijuana isn't what your parents smoked at Woodstock. It is far more potent. It felt as if my heart was going to explode out of my chest. Mike Stroh smoked pot for nearly every day for 15 years in Canada, where it's been legal for medicinal purposes for two decades, which explains why there is significant Canadian research into health effects of cannabis. Now a large peer-reviewed study found that while the risk remained low, those aged 18 to 44 who use cannabis at least four times a month had nearly doubled the risk of heart attack over non-users. And now the news is worse for those classified as having cannabis use disorder. These are individuals who use cannabis with a frequency that has an impact on their functional abilities, how they're functioning at home, at work, in relationships, at school. A new analysis presented at the American Heart Association scientific sessions found that overall 4.1 percent of patients hospitalized for heart attacks also had cannabis use disorder and the proportion nearly tripled from 2.4 percent in 2007 to 6.7 in 2018. That doesn't necessarily mean that cannabis use or cannabis use disorder causes heart attacks. It could also mean that there are other factors. The study did not control for those other factors, such as use of other substances, like tobacco, alcohol, or cocaine. Lifestyle factors, such as diet and little physical activity, could also be responsible. That's where future research will focus. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.